Hi, Ted Barsalu for Alamo Music Center. Today we're presenting the Keyboard Buyer's Guide for the holiday season, starting with the PSR E series, the PSR EW series. Then we're going to take a look at the DGX, the P series, and then we're also going to have a, a quick review of the areas. We're going to look at the Clavinova, both the CLP, the CVP, and also the brand new CSP models. So let's start off with the Yamaha PSR E263 and take a look at the sounds, the voices, the styles, and how you can use them to learn and to practice and mix things together. This is the PSR E263 entry line keyboard from Yamaha, featuring styles, voices, and songs. I want to give a demonstration of some of the voices, some of the styles, and some of the songs, how you can use them to learn and practice, and then how you can actually merge the voice and the style together to work on your rhythm. Let's listen to some of these voices. authenticity of the grand piano sound. It's got a number of electric pianos. This one's kind of a digital sounding bell-like. I want to get into some of the synthesizer sounds because those are really neat and a long time ago you had to own a separate keyboard to get each one of these sounds. Let's have a listen to some of these styles. We have British rock beat. This also has the ability to allow you to start a, temp, uh, a file with just tapping the tempo. For example, the same beat, I'll slow it down. Then there's also let me change the style here. This is the one that I like, this 8-beat. And let's see what else we have here. There's another one that's got this little off beat, almost kind of a disco beat. And then now, in terms of learning, you can do a couple of things when you hit onto the lesson feature and what that allows you to do is um, for example it gives you a start and you listen and you learn and it shows you the keys that are playing. This is designed so that you listen and you can see where the keys are getting played. You can play along with the keyboard. The next feature after that is timing. And what that does, it plays the same song, and what you do with that is you actually have to play the melody, but you don't have to hit the exact key. It's mostly for rhythm. You can hit any key you want. The next part is waiting. What this will do for you is that the whole band, all the music will wait for you to play. And it shows you the keys right down here to play. It's a great way to learn songs and you have the whole song library to go through and practice on your timing and the timing with the waiting or just listen to. What I like to do is to set up a style and get, give it a, on a certain kind of beat so that I can put two things together. For example, I'm going to use this hi-hat light beat and I think I want to get a tempo that's right about there around 90 and then the song I want to use, the sound, will be probably the electric piano which should be this one. There we go. So I have this drum beat
That concludes our brief presentation of the Yamaha PSR263. And along with our buyer's guide, we're going to move along to the next keyboard. And thanks a bunch for listening. Now that we've looked at the PSR E263, let's move up to the next model we're reviewing, the PSR EW300. This is the Yamaha PSR EW300. We're going to have a listen to some of the voices, some of the styles, and put some of those together and show you a few of the songs. This is a 76 uh, key, key keyboard, and it has a spring loaded. They're not weighted action keys. It does have a pretty good feel to it, but it has wonderful sounds. Let's give it a listen. Give a listen to some of the electric pianos that are in here. to some of the synthesizer bank. have a listen to some of the styles and on the other one we listen to the British rock we'll see how it sounds here and then we also had a hard listen to the uh, the 8 beat this is a happy 8 beat that's a new beat on this keyboard that used to not be there before Interesting. The other one I used was this. Uh... Not that one. This one. Think start. Another feature of this Yamaha EW300 has on it is a built-in arpeggiator. It also allows you to split and use dual sounds at the same time. So I like to go through and pick out a, a pretty good strong synth sound. And get a good, and then turn on the arpeggiator so you can see how it goes. Thing, split function. But it's changes to split between bays. And then also dual. And I want to use a better sound for dual. I want to put the piano in there.
Thanks for watching the demonstration of the Yamaha PSR EW300. With almost 600 voices and over hundreds of different rhythms, you can combine to play and produce your own kind of little songs and get them together inside your head. And it's got full 76 keys. And with that, we're going to move on to the next keyboard. And thanks for listening. Now we're going to move on to the Yamaha DGX660. This keyboard has full 88 keys and they're also weighted and they have graded hammer. What that means is that the keys are heavier in the bass end like on a grand piano and they gradually get lighter as you move up to the top. And this one also has uh, great samples in it. It has about 674 sounds in it and it has a couple hundred rhythms in it. And it also has songs and the ability to put a six track song together so you can put your own grooves together up to six tracks and you can store those onto the USB drive. So let's have a listen to some of the sounds, some of the styles, and we'll put some of those together and maybe play a song or two for you. And then it also has a great electric piano on it as well, a couple of them. The one that I kind of favor, I believe, is number 11 or 12. 12. Also has the ability to play dual voices. I also like to put in the piano and strings and see how that sounds. One of the features that's a real joy to use on the Yamaha DGX660 is the record feature and then also you, when you play back you can use the score feature and I'll show you both of those. I'll play a little snippet here and record it and then we'll look at it back. You hit the record button, you have your sound already set and you start playing. Hit stop when you're finished and then it asks you if you want to save it and I always say yes so you can listen to it play back. You save it and then you hit play. And while it's doing that you can hit the score button. And it shows you what you play, at least it gives you the rhythm and the chord structure.
Another feature of the Yamaha DGX660 is the ability to plug in a microphone into the back and use it as a PA system and you can blend and mix the sound of your voice along with the sound of the instrument so that at least you have a live PA that you can play and sing through. Another feature on it that's nice is it has wireless audio and MIDI capability using Wi-Fi which I did not demonstrate today and it does have the USB uh, connection port which is very important for saving your files like the one I just showed you how to play and record. And now we're going to move on to the next keyboard, which is the Arius and the P-Series. This has been the DGX660, and thanks a bunch for listening. We'll see you soon. The next model in our keyboard buyer's guide is not necessarily so much a keyboard as it is really a piano. And this is the Yamaha Arius. It's smaller than a spinet piano, and it does have a lid exactly like a piano. When you open it up, it has 88 keys. They're all weighted action. The tops are actually a new synthetic ivory from Yamaha designed to absorb perspiration and feel like a grand piano. And that's the other thing about it, is it has a great nine foot CFS Yamaha concert grand piano sample inside of it. And it absolutely uses, it now uses an, what's called a stereo optimizer to give you a better effect of that piano being right in front of you when it's in the headphones. So it's a great instrument to have, has a music stand, and it has the three pedals that are standard on a grand piano, including the soft pedal, the sustenuto, and also the sustain pedal. So let's go through and just listen to these sounds and imagine what progress you could make having this in your headphones and playing 24 hours a day just practicing and getting really good. Let's have a listen. That is the Yamaha CFS Concert Grand. We're going to listen to the next instrument up, which should be a bright grand. And we also have... Mostly a presentation of sounds, uh, the Arius is actually not so much as a keyboard as I mentioned, but it is a wonderful, wonderful piano substitute. If you have a young child that is looking to play piano and you can't absolutely afford a real piano, uh, this takes up a small amount of space and it is a fully functioning piano replacement and in the headphones it sounds really great. The nice thing about it is it does not sound like a spinet, it plays like a real piano. And I've had a number of uh, clientele and customers over the years that would get these and their children make absolutely great progress on it and I do highly recommend it as opposed to getting uh, a smaller keyboard, it's particularly if they're in piano lessons, they need a piano, and this functions exactly as a piano. And I highly recommend it. It's an Arius 143. Now that we've concluded looking at the Arius, let's move on to the P-Series of portable pianos from Yamaha. Continuing along on our Yamaha Holiday Keyboard Buyer's Guide, now we're at the P-Series. There's three models in this series, the P45, the P115, and the professional grade P255. Today we're doing a review on the P115, a general all-around, all-purpose, great 
keyboard to have. It has 88 keys. They're weighted with graded hammer action, and it has a number of grand pianos, electric pianos, a few organ sounds. You can blend two sounds, and we're going to go through some of those right now, and I'll show you some, some of the features, and you can hear how they sound. That was the grand piano sound. This is the jazz organ sound. Stage piano sound. Another feature on here is it has metronome and rhythms, and I like to use one of the uh, rhythm functions. It gives you a little cue off, and you can hear how this sounds. put two sounds together and again as I, I did on some of the other keyboard examples I'm going to use the piano and the strings on this one so you hold down piano and strings and you should get both of them a quick overall review of the Yamaha P115. We're going to continue on with our buyer's guide and move up over on to the Arius model. The next model we're looking at in our keyboard buyer's guide is the Yamaha Clavinova. This is the model 645. This model features 88 keys. They're all natural wood and they have balanced escapement with synthetic ivory and synthetic ebony. It's a great feeling piano. It feels very, very close, if not identical to a grand piano and to make sure that that feel is there along with the sound and the touch and response and the tone, the timbre, features the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand, and it also features the Bose Indoors for con Concert Grand. And what we're gonna do is go through and listen to the sounds, and I'll show you some of the features, how you can put some sounds together. It also has a metronome built into it, and what I like better than a metronome is it has a little drum machine in there that allows you to give a beat rather than play to a click and a bell. So it's a lot easier to play with a drummer. So let's have a listen to some of these sounds. I'm gonna start off with the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand sound. Change it over to the Bosendorfer sound. There are banks of acoustic piano sounds, and there are banks of electric piano sounds, also strings, and organs, and then also some percussion sounds all on here and you can go through each one. I'm going to go through some of the electric piano sounds and give a demonstration and you'll be able to see on the overhead what, what the sounds are called.
also has dual split mode, so I'm going to go back to the concert grand with a straight mode. We can hear how this sounds. You can also put a bass in a split mode so you can have acoustic piano and bass. I want to put a rhythm together with an electric piano so you can see how you can kind of practice and at least work in time and come up with your own grooves. One of the other features on the uh, Yamaha CLP645, besides having a lot of fun to play, is that you can actually record on it. You can record your uh, performances or songs you make up. The other nice thing about it is that you can go back and add up to 15 additional tracks to it. It does have a 16 track uh, virtual recorder in it. And what's nice about it is that it's very easy to use. It first records in track one. It skips track two for allow that for stereo capability and starts going three, four, five, six, seven. You just keep changing your instruments and it records them and you layer them and then you can go in and mix them. It's a very uh, kind of simple advanced feature and it is easy to use. It is a lot of fun at least to put sections of songs together so you can get an idea how you might sound playing with your band. That concludes our sound and uh, slight uh, variation uh, demonstration here on the Yamaha CLP645. Again, a great piano, a phenomenal uh, grand piano substitute to have to practice with. It has the full functioning uh, damper pedal, sustenuto, and, and sustain pedal. Also 88 weighted action keys that are wooden with balanced escapement and the synthetic ebony and ivory just feel great to play on. It's a wonderful instrument to have and it should have a high amount of pride, uh, ownership pride and it should make a lot of progress in your music journey. The next piano we're going to look at in our Yamaha Keyboard Buyer's Guide is the CVP705. This is the midline of three models that Yamaha makes, and they have an additional one in the grand piano model. They make a 709, a 701. This is the midline 705. It has um, 88 natural wood balance keys with escapement and synthetic ebony and ivory. And it's a real joy and a thrill to play because of the potential the instrument has. In fact, it has so much potential, I'm just going to really, really touch on the top of the tip of the iceberg here to give you an idea what this, this instrument is capable of doing. It has wonderful sounds, wonderful styles. You can mix those two together. It has a built-in 16-track recorder, and it has the ability to play MIDI songs that you can download off the internet or make your own and put them together. The nice thing about it is it's all touchscreen driven and it's real easy to use. And then I want to go to the Bosendorfer sound and play the same thing. Okay, let me go in and pick some. We'll go to electric pianos and pick the suitcase. This I like because you can see everything right there in front of you, all the different pick out a style if I can find the one that this one and then the tempo this should work if I set the sync just like the other demos so I have a tempo at 117 I have the live 8 beat and I have the CP 80 and I hit the sync start
nice features on the Yamaha CVP705 is the piano room. And not only does it have great graphics, it's real easy to use. It's a lot of fun. You can do different things with the piano and your surroundings. We're starting off right now. I have the Yamaha 9 foot. I'm going to open up the lid. I'm going to change the room from instead of a stage, I'm going to go to a concert hall. Cathedral. You can also change the piano out if you wanted to. Put a Fender Rhodes inside a cathedral. To show you how to use the record feature and also the score feature real quick as we've done that on some of these Yamaha keyboards and now that we're on the 705 I'll show you how that feature functions at this level. Go to the score, split it out the left hand and right hand, and let it play. concludes our short brief demo on the CVP705. As I mentioned before, there are so many features and functions on this. Uh, we are set to do, and we already have existing separate videos, but this one here, there's always something more that someone wants to know, including the 16 track recording, the score function, and how you can actually score for an entire orchestra and big band part by part by assigning the part and playing it. It's a wonderful instrument. And whether you're a beginner or you know absolutely nothing or you're a total professional, there's a place for you in here and you'll always be drawn to it. It's a wonderful instrument. I can't say enough about the Yamaha CVP705. And we're moving on to one more keyboard in our keyboard buyer's guide. Thanks for listening. The next keyboard that we're going to look at is the CSP Clavinovum. This is a Model 150 and it is controlled through an iPad. And we're going to have a look at some of the graphics and listen to a bunch of the sounds, the styles, the songs, those kind of things. It's all possible, everything that we've uh, done through all the keyboard uh, presentations so far. This one in incorporates just about everything that, that, uh, that we've looked at so far. So let's have a listen. I'm going to go in and change the voice. I'm going to go use the uh, Bosendorfer sound. These are all the lists we have of grand pianos that are in here. The one octave. You can also go up to the top here and slide if you can see this. We're going to pick this one here. This is an upright piano. In the uprights, they actually have a honky tonk piano. This one, Saloon Upright. It's a little bit more in tune, but 
out of tune at the same time. It's kind of interesting. Let's slide right over here and see what they have in terms of electric pianos. Some of the features we've looked at on other keyboards uh, are here as well. And we go over to the piano room. Inside the piano room there's a concert grand. And then we can change over to the Bosendorfer. We can also go here and change the background to the club or cathedral. Have a look at some and listen to some of these organs. Some of the features you can do on here is you can also play song files. Puts a nice display of music up there. You can follow along. You can play along with it. It's actually kind of fun. I'm going to go in and see if we can pick us a song. Uh, start here. It's actually pretty cool to sit there and play along. It's well, it, the chart is real accurate. Whatever ones you pick, it just downloads them. I wanted to see. Uh... Thank you. 
As you can see, the CSP150 Clavanova is in the same league as kind of like the CVP705. There's so many features and unlimited things you can put together and it's just fun to scroll through and listen to all the sounds and all the settings. And so I encourage you to go out to your Yamaha dealer and check out these fine keyboards this holiday season and keep an eye out for the new CSP150. It packs a lot of features in there, a lot of features at a certain kind of price that might just be right for you. Thanks again for watching a Yamaha Holidays Keyboard Buyer's Guide. And don't forget to follow us on your favorite social media. And thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, please do. If you already do, why, thank you so much. And don't forget to give us your questions, your calls, and your comments. And we'd love to hear from you soon. It's all about music. And remember, life is more fun when you play music. Starting here at Alamo Music Center, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.